Sergio Perez enjoyed the most successful season of his career in 2022, as he doubled his win tally and finished in an all-time high position of third in the driver's standings. He also helped Red Bull secure their first Constructors' Championship since 2013 by securing 305 of their 759-point total. Now he set his sights on a Drivers' Championship victory in 2023 with hopes that greater consistency across the season will allow him to challenge his dominant teammate, Max Verstappen. The Mexican joined Red Bull in 2021 after he unleashed a racing force like no other in his last season with Racing Point in 2020. He proved to be a great second driver by helping slow down other drivers such as Lewis Hamilton and contributing to Verstappen's title winnings in 2021. In 2022, he only managed two wins, Monaco and Singapore. There was a huge gap between the two drivers, with Perez finishing in third place. The Brazilian Grand Prix was mostly to blame for Perez's final position. Verstappen didn't give the place back to help his teammate earn more points, which saw the 32-year-old go into the last race in Abu Dhabi on tie points with Ferrari Charles Leclerc. Perez must now leave the past behind and focus on the new season and the challenges that lie ahead. He's not wasting time. The season might be taking a break, but Checo is working non-stop to ensure he's prepared for the 2023 season. At age 32, he feels like he's at his prime and is determined to win even more. I'm constantly working on it. I think it really depends on how comfortable I am at the start of the season with the car, as I was in the beginning of the season, then it slipped away. Similarly, Perez is convinced that F1 drivers must constantly work on new challenges. But I do feel at this time, I'm pretty much at my best. I really want to carry it on and start next year on a very high level. He also mentioned that consistent performance could play a key role in the upcoming season. Perez saw Red Bull compete for the championship early in the season. When the RB18 was finally improved, one win after another came for the Austrian formation. Certainly, 2022 started really well. We had some reliability issues in the beginning, but things were looking on track. We were in the mix for the championship early on. I had a couple of bad races that really put me out of contention for the championship, so there is some work to do in that regard, together with the team. We need to make sure that we can keep that consistency throughout and that we can come back next year and fight for the title, if we were to have a similar level of car for next year. With a little over five weeks until the 2023 Formula 1 cars hit the circuit for testing in Bahrain, pre-season activity within the teams is building to a crescendo. In Milton Keynes, the world champions are putting the finishing touches to the RB19. However, ex-F1 Red Bull driver David Coulthard claims that Sergio Perez needs a full software update before he hits the track in anger. In what many would describe as a sense of entitlement, Perez asked the team to manufacture a win for him at his home race in Mexico City. Sergio appeared to believe that given the team had claimed the constructors' title along with Verstappen's Drivers' Championship, the team would be prepared to manipulate the 2022 Mexican Grand Prix in his favour. Channel 4 pundit David Coulthard believes Perez should be looking over his shoulder. Given Verstappen claimed 15 victories in the same car, Checo managed just two race wins. Coulthard says the driver needs to up his game or risk losing his drive with the Red Bull team. Further, the arrival of Daniel Ricciardo as the third driver puts additional pressure on Perez given there's a proven F1 race winner ready to replace him. Whilst Checo has been the most competitive of teammates Verstappen has faced since Ricciardo's departure from Red Bull, his qualifying and race deficits to Verstappen are astonishingly large. For Checo to look at how many victories Max had and how many he had, it's not like he's just having to polish a few corners. This is a major rewrite, a software update. If you use the same ingredients in the cake, you'll get the same cake. You need to change it if you want something different. He has access to the data of the world champion. He can see where he's quicker, where he's slower. Checo will be quicker in some areas. It's just Max is putting it all together more often than not. All the knowledge is there for Checo to lift his performance. If he does, then the World Championship is there for him to put his hand on. If he doesn't, then he'll be another driver, like myself, that won a few Grand Prix. Perez is under contract with Red Bull until the end of 2024. But, as has been seen on numerous occasions in the past, the company has the ability to swap around drivers between their lead team and sister team Alpha Tauri. Red Bull team advisor Helmut Marko reiterated Red Bull's stance that Ricardo has not been brought in to keep Perez in check. No, Sergio Perez has shown that he can ride at a very high level. If Max is never there, Sergio will be. He won two races this year for a reason. 
Now, Ricardo left McLaren a year before the planned end of his contract after two underwhelming seasons with the team, with compatriot Oscar Piastri being drafted in to replace him alongside Lando Norris next season. The Australian searched for another drive on the grid for 2023, but without a competitive enough seat forthcoming, he's opted to take a year on the sidelines in the hope of taking on a front-running car for the 2024 season. Perez said he's happy to have Ricardo on board. I'm pretty relaxed. I mean, we live under a lot of pressure all the time. It doesn't change anything from my side. I think it's a great achievement for the team to have a driver like Daniel, and he's going to contribute a lot to our team. He's a great guy. He's one of the guys that I get on with the most in the paddock. So I think it's just great to have Daniel in the team, and from my side, doesn't change anything. Red Bull's 2023 Formula 1 Challenger, the RB19, will be unveiled on the 3rd of February in a special launch event in New York. The car will be driven by Max and Sergio as the Milton Keynes squad look to defend their two titles. Alpha Tauri are due to also launch in New York, while Mercedes are set to unveil their W14 Challenger on the 15th of February. The RB19 will be powered by a Honda RBPT engine, with the branding reflecting former engine supplier Honda's continued support of Red Bull's new in-house powertrain division. It will be the second season of such an arrangement, with last year's car using a Red Bull RBPTH001 power unit, but with Honda's logo still present on the car throughout the season. The 2023 season is also the second year of F1's current cycle of technical regulations. Red Bull's chief technical officer, Adrian Newey, has led the design of the new car and it's supported by a team of people, including chief designer Craig Skinner and technical director Pierre Wachet. With a record-length 23-event season facing teams this year, Perez and Verstappen have the opportunity with the RB19 to surpass the record-breaking statistics achieved with its predecessor. So, what are your predictions for the 2023 season? Do you think Perez has a chance of winning the championship? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Now, if you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel, and don't forget to click the bell button to be notified of future videos.